Hello, students. Today's video is titled Factoring Expressions. So let's get right into it. Turn this around here. Okay, factoring expressions. So first bullet, to factor means to break down. So whenever you see the word factor, I want you to think of breaking down or breaking a math expression apart. And the second bullet says, an algebraic expression can be factored by finding the greatest common factor, GCF. And we just learned how to do that in our last video. So let me show you how we're gonna use the GCF to break down math expressions. Here is our first example. It says, factor the math expression 6x plus 9. So step one is you want to find your GCF. So you want to find the GCF. And if you remember how to do that, we're going to, my camera's losing a little bit of focus here. Let me bring this down a little bit lower here. Let's try that. Okay. All right. So you're going to take the two numbers that you're given, the coefficient here, 6, and the number here on the back, 9. And we're going to write those down over here, a 6 and a 9. And then we're going to draw that Venn diagram like we did in our last lesson so that we can find that GCF. Okay, so let's break down a 6 to its prime factors. Two numbers that multiply to give me 6 would be 3 times 2, and they're both prime. And then my 9 would become 3 times 3, and they're both prime. So on this side, I'm going to put 3 times 2, and on this side, 3 times 3. Okay, so now what do they have in common? Well, they have a 3 in common for sure, and that's about it. This extra 3 here can't join forces with anyone, so we'll say the GCF is 3. Now watch what I do. You take that GCF, bring it over here, boom, then you open parentheses. Whatever is left in this side of the circle, which is a two, we're gonna put here along with this X, bring down the plus sign from here, and then whatever's left in this part of the circle, which is this three, is going to go right there. This expression, three, three times the quantity of 2x plus 3, that's how you say that, 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 3 is considered the factored or broken down version of the expression 6x plus 9. In our next lesson, we're going to learn about the distributive property, which takes us from this form back to this form. But for right now, we're just worried about factoring. Okay, so maybe I just had a thought so that we don't lose that X. Maybe when we break the six down to its prime factors in this circle, we should put the three and the two and then also the X because like three times two times X would give me the six X. So if there's a variable there, we'll bring it into the circle. Okay, let's look at our next example. Example two, factor. 4x plus 6. So let's come off to the side. We'll write our 4 and our 6. And we're going to find that greatest common factor here. So let's break our 4 down. We have a 2 and a 2, which are both prime. So I'll circle them. And for 6, we have 3 and 2. And they're both prime. So in this side of the circle, we'll have a two, a two, and right here, let's put that X there. Two times two times X is gonna give me back four X. And then over here, we have the three and the two. Okay, what can we cross off? What's the same? Well, we have a two here that matches a two here, and that's it. That's all we have in common. So our GCF is two. 
that gets written first, we open parentheses. Now we look at the first part of the circle here. What's not crossed off is a 2x. Bring the plus sign down. And what's not crossed off on this side is that 3. And so this is my final answer. 2 times the quantity of 2x plus 3. That's the factored version of 4x plus 6. Okay, so we could keep going. I mean, I have a ton of examples here. Let's just try one more. Let's do this one here, example 5. We're kind of going out of order, but I think you're getting the hang of this. So let's just do one more. We're doing factoring 35x minus 50y. So let's go ahead and find our GCF of a 35 and a 50. Okay. So for the 35, we know 7 times 5 is 35, and those are both prime. 50, let's see, we could do 10 times 5. Of course, the 5 is prime, but then the 10 can keep going to 5 and 2, and now they're both prime. So when I make my circles for my Venn diagram, see if I left myself space here. Okay, we have our first circle and then our overlapping circle. Okay, so on this side, we have a seven and a five, and let's not forget that X. And then on this side, we have a five, two, five, five, two, five, and a Y. So let's fit a Y in there. Okay, what do we have in common? Well, we have a five for sure. And I think that's it. So five will be the GCF. That floats to the outside. We open parentheses. Now what's left over here? Well, a seven is left and an X, and we multiply those together. So seven X, bring down this minus. And what's left on this half of the circle? Well, we have a two and a five and a Y. So two times five is 10. 10 times y is 10y, final answer. So you see the process is the same all three times. You just keep doing the same process and that should do it. Hopefully that makes sense and you can be successful from here on your mastery. So thanks for watching and happy trails to you.